Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to my Zodiac Signs as student series. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Aquarius student as I explain three different school subjects that I personally think can be associated with the sign of Aquarius. Now this video can resonate for you if you have any of your personal planets within the sign of Aquarius but this video is mostly directed towards those of you who have Mercury in Aquarius or if you have the sign of Aquarius ruling your third house. Now I would also like to mention here that even if you're not a student anymore, even if you're not at school anymore, then I still recommend watching this video because you can still learn from it and also you can notice it maybe within your everyday life, so what I'm about to explain within the video. However, before we do get started, as always, if you would like to know more information all about Gemini through the houses, as well as your Mercury sign, your Mercury house, along with the third house within astrology as well, then I have created a Gemini season slash Gemini archetype ebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a link to that ebook in the description box below so that you can pick up your copy today. All right, so with all of those introductions out of the way, Mercury in Aquarius, Aquarius ruling the third house. Let's do this. Okay, so the first subject that I chose for you Aquarius is physics. Now I chose biology for Virgo and I chose chemistry for Scorpio, but for you I chose physics. The why is this? Well, because you are the sign associated with technological and scientific exploration. You are a sign of experimentation and futurism. And it's the likes of, well, quantum physics that is becoming rather popular nowadays. Now it's quantum physics or mechanics that describes nature at the very smallest, so the smallest scales of energy levels of atoms and subatomic particles. It is the study of physics that will encourage you Aquarius to perform calculations, conduct experiments, prepare technical reports, use computer technology, and also analyze and organize data. So yeah, you may be interested in the likes of quantum physics, but you know, when it comes to the study of physics overall, well, physics will help you develop knowledge of natural laws in various fields, such as electricity, astrophysics, astronomy, biomedical physics, and like I said, quantum physics or mechanics. <laughs> it's all these different types of things that you just might be curious about, Aquarius. Then again, science might actually be a subject that takes you a little while to warm up to or to grasp. <laughs> After all, science is an extremely complex field. But I think that over time, you might pay attention to the very value of physics because it is this, this type of subject that you can actually use it within your everyday life as well. For example, right, your alarm clock, Aquarius. So if you were to look at your alarm clock, well, physics studies the origin and the properties of sound. So the sound that's coming from your alarm clock that wakes you up in the morning yeah, physics! <laughs> then again, maybe that's something that makes you just want to completely turn away because it's like, the alarm clock really have a, the thing that wakes me up? <laughs> yes, I'm being serious and besides, without that alarm clock, you wouldn't be able to make it to school, make it to your job, make it to do other things throughout your day, so, uh huh. Though, so, another example, uh, well, when it comes to irons, so you ironing your clothes, so for example your uniform maybe for school or your uniform for work, well, the principles of physics is used in the steam iron, so heat. <laughs> and also Aquarius, those earphones that you use to plug into your ears, okay, where you're able to listen to your favourite music, which by the way Aquarius, 
you do have a huge appreciation for music and music could also be a subject that I chose for this. Oh no. <laughs> I clearly did not choose music as one of the school subjects, but there you go. There's number four. I'm just not going to explain why, but yeah, you may be really interested in that too. But still, it is the concept of magnetism and sound waves that are involved in the science of your earphones or your headphones. So when you plug those bad boys in into an electrical source, so into the computer, into your phone, the magnet in your earphones creates an electromagnetic field resulting in sine waves. Even this camera right now that I'm using to record this video, well, apparently even the lens works on the principle of optics. And let's not forget your phone either, Aquarius, because by you sending that message to your friend, well, that works in the principle of electricity. So, as you can see, <laughs> physics exists all around you within your everyday life. Though still, why is it that you should study physics? Well, it's physics that can help you understand how things work from first principles, and it's also a great way for you to put numeracy and mathematical skills to use as well. And not to mention, when it comes to career or job opportunities, physics can open you up to many options, such as teaching, medicine, computer science, aviation, and management in technical fields. You will be taught how to use computers, make graphs, understand trends and patterns, solve complex problems, and also learning how to write clearly defined essays. Ultimately, Aquarius, it is the study of physics that will enhance your intellectual and communication skills, as well as how you research and develop your ideas as well. Some things to learn here though, Aquarius, well, there is a tendency of you being highly objective and too attached for your own good sometimes. Now this detachment can be activated in a couple of different ways. So for one, you might just kind of sit back and watch the world go by, you know, just going through its cycles, people going throughout their day, and you just don't say a single word. So you can be that observer. Or it can also be too, where you might present uncooperative behaviors towards others just to make a statement that you're a free thinker resulting in you becoming quite cold and unsympathetic towards others. You just might view what other people are saying as just bizarre or just rather intellectually lazy especially if others just follow blindly with the information that they're being presented with or that they're being told without even questioning it. But it's these types of attitudes that might actually result in you not being very sensitive towards other people's ideas and thoughts. But please keep in mind here, Aquarius, that you are human like everybody else, even though, yes, you feel very alien as well. Um, well, meaning that you too can join in on certain ideologies. You can, you can also join in on certain movements that are seen as more conventional. Meaning that you can also attach yourself to certain beliefs that are being made for all of humanity. Therefore, Aquarius, you're no exception to the rule. In fact, you might only view the things that you have in common with others as the very thing that keeps you together. For example, maybe you and your friend, you are both vegan. So this is someone that you bond with over being vegan. That's a like-minded thing. But then you decide or they decide that you don't want to be vegan anymore. And what this might result in is disagreements. It might result in disharmony between the two of you. So in that way, it might be that the shared passion for veganism was that very thing that was making you gel well together the most. Therefore, Aquarius, perhaps it's a good idea to really learn how to use your objective detached mindset in a way that can actually help you connect better with other people, regardless of them 
having that like mind or connection in terms of what they believe in or their different movements that they're associated with. So to recognize the individuality of others, as you also share the research and the studies that you've been learning as well. So really to show mental empathy towards others by also being aware of also what your point of view is. Okay, so the second subject that I chose is psychology. Now this is a subject that you might actually be interested in studying at university, which by the way, if you have the sign of Aquarius really in your ninth house, then this might also resonate. But you just like Scorpio, you may really enjoy just delving into the human mind. Because Aquarius, you can possess this deep interest in learning about other people. So much so that you'll ask them questions that no one else has ever asked them before and so this in turn can actually help open other people up to new frames of thought and discovery. And it is also the study of astrology that can be linked with psychology due to their observations of human behaviour and characteristics. Studying psychology will encourage you, Aquarius, to understand yourself and others and it will certainly help you grow in your communication and your research skills. It's also a highly complex subject and you are a highly complex sign. Plus, it's a unique subject and you are also pretty unique as well, right? And if you do go on to help others through this study, well, psychology can result in you helping people resolve any complex emotional issues that they might be experiencing, as well as helping them really develop solutions for real world problems too. You can certainly make a difference in other people's lives and Aquarius, you are known for being the sign of humanitarianism. You could even go on to be a counsellor, a community service worker, a therapist, a social worker, even an astrologer. Furthermore, psychology can open you up to different fields as well, such as the likes of law, medicine and life sciences. It's even the study of psychology that can be seen within your everyday life or within your everyday interactions with others. For example, it can help you learn how to detect lies, how to make your smile more attractive, or how to use body language to your benefit. It can also help you convince and persuade other people to listen to your opinion or your side of the argument. And also, it can help you learn how to form healthy relationships with your friends, with your family, or with your spouse. And when it does come to making decisions, well, psychology can certainly help with that as well. Where you're really able to evaluate the situation from many different perspectives and angles, such as emotional, intuitive and rational perspectives. And yes, I did just say emotional because you like all people, Aquarius, you have emotions. You're just very good at hiding them. Some things to learn here though, Aquarius, well, sort of going back to this detachment from the beginning, well, yes, you can come across as unsympathetic towards other people's opinions and their ideas and their beliefs. Yes, while that might be the case, well, there's also this tendency of you not saying anything at all or you being unwilling to express your opinions, ideas and beliefs as well. So like I said earlier, there was that one scenario where there's just no nothing, <laughs> but then there's the other scenario where it's just full guns blazing. For example, you might be sitting with a few people and the topic of discussion is on climate change. So you as the Aquarius, you maybe have some research you've done or you've learned some information about climate change, but yet instead of saying anything, you might just sit there in silence so you don't take part in the discussion and what you do is you observe it instead. Now I'm not saying that you should take part or you shouldn't take part or you should express your opinion or not and besides through the observations you can definitely listen and this can be used to your benefit as well. However, who's to say that your opinion won't impact 
the other people that you are speaking with. See, it's you Aquarius that sees and analyzes the bigger picture and you're able to grasp those wider concepts and principles and your ideas can also be pretty abstract. And yes, these ideas might be difficult for others to understand or appreciate, especially if your ideas and your theories are way ahead of our time. But just because they are not easy to grasp or understand or to be appreciated by others doesn't mean that you should censor or silence yourself either. Ultimately, Aquarius, your future vision and your progressive ideas, they just might influence or impact others for their betterment. So perhaps the key here lies in you learning how to really use your objectivity and your detachment. So to identify the times in which you don't say anything, but also the times in which you do. So how does that usually play out and are you well received by others? All right, sure. So maybe you're seen as this nut job or as this conspiracy theorist wacko. What does that matter? If you present the research and the studies, right, whilst also being open to an adult, healthy discussion with another person, then in my opinion, it's for a game. You are the sign that gets other people thinking outside of the box. And I know that can be a bit of a difficult job because that box, that box people are in is shut pretty tight. Now the third and final subject that I chose for you Aquarius is geometry. Now I chose geometry because it focuses on shapes and solids and it can be found everywhere around us. So from art to sports, from nature to space, all you have to do is look into the mirror and like look into your eyes and you will just see the certain shape that located within the eye. <laughs> it's the study of geometry that can help us measure distances, areas and volumes. It can help us understand points, angles and lines. And apparently the term geometry roughly translates to Earth's measurement. Furthermore, according to a source that I find, Geometric shapes of different toys play an utterly crucial role in the development of the cognitive skills in children during the early stages of their growth. So even from when we are so young and we're playing with our toys, geometry is in action. And if you do look out into nature, geometry is all around you. So different shapes and patterns in leaves, flowers, roots, stems, Different fruits and vegetables have different geometric shapes, not to mention the patterns that we notice in technology, such as the complex graphics of video games. Even within your own home, Aquarius, so the cushions, the rugs, the chairs, the table, the bed sheet, the cooking supplies. Safe to say, there is no escaping geometry. And it is also this study that will encourage you to think in an abstract way, Aquarius. Your analytical and reasoning skills will also improve and you'll also build on your logical thinking skills as well as your problem solving skills. Naturally, your interest in geometry here, Aquarius, can maybe filter into an interest in sacred geometry as well. And it's actually sacred geometry that involves sacred universal patterns used in the design of everything in our reality. So looking at how geometry and mathematical equations and ratios, how they are found in light, music and cosmology. So even if we take a look at the flower of life, for example, well, the flower of life, it has a six fold symmetry, kind of shaped like a hexagon. Not to mention the golden ratio as well, and apparently the pyramids of Giza, they were built around the golden ratio, um, as well as the golden ratio being found within the design of the Notre Dame. Ultimately, Aquarius, there may be many elements to sacred geometry and also to geometry overall that you might be highly curious learning about. Some things to learn here though, well, there is a tendency of you being highly unpredictable in how you think and how you communicate, 
meaning that you can often surprise others with the decision decisions or the choices that you often suddenly make. Seriously, an idea can just come into your head and you can just go with it, but by you doing so, you might actually lose sight of the value of present structures. For example, you might suddenly leave a certain position in work or even move to a new location because you decided in your mind that you wanted to, but yet you might leave that current role or position in a bit of a sticky situation, meaning that you Aquarius, you can be that type of person who has the tendency of burning your bridges. Further suggesting that it might be difficult, if not impossible slightly, <laughs> for you to return to that previous position if ever you choose or want to do so in the future. Therefore, it's really a good idea to be more aware of the impacts and implications of your sudden predictable changes and choices. That way you can close things or end things with more harmony and a sense of fairness for all. Now, of course, this all depends on the situation. I mean, if you are treated horribly or if you have no other choice in the matter, then yes, it may not be as straightforward as that. But I think that by you addressing the situation from different angles, from different perspectives, you can make decisions that can work for you, but also work for other people in the long term. Okay then, Cosmic Warriors, so that concludes my video on the Aquarius student. Now, if you happen to have your Mercury in Aquarius or Aquarius ruling your third house, then it would be good to hear from you in the comment section to let us know what you thought of the video and to also share your own experiences. So with all that being said then, thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed, then go right ahead and click the subscribe button. And I will be back with another video very, very soon. Bye!